for you. Get in my chair. No, thank you, Brayton. He's going to cut my hair. I said get in my chair. Brayton, we aren't kids anymore. You can't talk to me. Boy, I said get in my chair. All right. Brayton, I'm a singer now, so take your time on my hair, please. <laughs> I got you. I was so focused on trying to get to level 50 on this new game I've been playing. The link to the game is on my page. That I didn't notice what Brayton was doing to my hair. Take a look. Oh, Brayton, what do you do? He butchered my hair. Then tried to use that stuff. You know what I'm talking about, that black paint. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> You're mad, I'm back. Big mad, he's mad, she's mad, big fat. Ha ha, don't care, stay mad. Ah, 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 ah. You're mad, I'm back. Big mad, don't Yo. Yo, what's up, bro? Let me get a call. Oh, okay. But make it sweet. Okay, you wanna be rude? I'll make it sweet. I'm gonna have diabetes. Better hurry up. Oh, I'm gonna hurry up, don't worry. It's a whole lot of sugar. You're gonna have a sugar rush, aren't you? Swear to God, if it's not sweet, check it. What? It's not sweet, bro. Oh, you want a sweeter? Yeah. I got you. Stir it? Yeah, stir it. What do you think? Yo. Hey, kid. Want some drugs? Yes. Is that easy? No stranger danger. You got drugs or not? Man, I was just playing, man. Don't play with me. Like... Don't play with me. What you playing for? What are the drugs? I love drugs. <laughs> Give me the drugs. God damn, where the drugs at? Why is my ex calling me, man? Hello? Oh my god, I think somebody in my house. What? I think somebody's in the house. How you know? Because I can hear their footsteps. Uh, calm down, calm down. Where you at? I'm in my room. I'm scared. Alright, all right, look, look, look. Get under your bed. What? Get under your bed. Get under the bed right now. Okay, okay. Are you under the bed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, now put the phone on speaker so I can hear everything. Okay. Uh, I hear him coming up the steps. All right, all right. Oh, my God, he in here. He in the room now? Oh, my God, yes, he's in here. She under the bed! That bitch is under the bed! Kill her ass! No, no, Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes. Yes. Why is my ex calling me, man? Somebody got to say it. Your bitmoji on Snapchat should be a tiny, at least a little resemblance of you. You can't be black and have a white bitmoji. You know why? Because it don't match. That's like me going on a date. website saying I'm 6'6", six, six, when I know I'm not 6'6", six, six. so if you white, and you know you're not black, don't make your bitmoji black. Somebody gotta say it. Your bitmoji on Snapchat should be a tiny Ill Somebody explain to me what goes through guys' heads when they cheat. Cause I don't know what, like, does he not care about his stuff? Does he not care about his life? Cause according to my calculations, cheating on a girl is gonna get your clothes burnt, your car keyed, your house destroyed. Like, you just setting yourself up for failure. I don't want to be that dude. I don't want to be the dude that got to wear burnt clothes and now I'm looking like a, a scary movie cast member. Like, no. I'm not about to be driving down the street with asshole key on the side of my car. No. I'm not about to invite people over. They look at my wall. What happened here? Oh, a chair got thrown into it. No, I don't want to be the explainer of that. No. So just stop. Like, why, why do y'all do it? Do y'all not care? Somebody explain to me, white people. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but something's not right. You know what I'm saying? One day I was at a white friend's house. His mama told him to do something. He had the nerve to say, "Hold on, mama, I'll do it later." You know what I'm saying? Me being a normal black boy, I sat down in a chair, got some chips, cause some shit's about to go down in my head. Some shit's about to go down. But no, I look. I'm like, "Hold on, what's going on? She not about to hit you with nothing? Yo, cool already? What, what just happened?" You told her you would do it later, and she just told you to do it now. I'm confused. We don't roll like that where I'm from. I'm over here looking stupid. They over here like, what is this dude talking about? I'm like, no, hold up. Let me get my black witnesses. Because around where I'm from, you do that, 
You you six feet under. Ain't no ain't no explaining that. You done? White people, the three white people, the three stages of dating that you've probably noticed in your relationship. All right. So first, you got the first stage. The first stage is the stage where you act like what you're not. And this is that stage where you like this. Hey, babe, I'm going to the store. Yeah. You want anything? Yeah, I'll get you those little chocolate candies you like. Yeah, I'll grab some. <laughs> okay. Middle stage. Hey, babe, I'm going to the store. Um, I got you. I'll get that stuff you had last time, right? Yeah, I'm going. Last stage. I, you going to the store, babe? I didn't ask you if you wanted anything from the store, did I? I'm going to the store, not you. This is my time, not your time. I didn't bother you when you was over there reading books, did I? Okay, so leave me alone. Simple. That's all you're going to get. The three stages of Snapchat. Y'all have got to stop with the filters. Y'all are making it too easy to catfish. Oh, my God. It's making people like me look light-skinned. Like you could be talking to a girl. She, you ask her to send her a snap of you. She sends you a snap. She looks light-skinned. You go meet her in real life. She's the same color as me. Like, hold on. That don't match. No, don't come close. Four to six feet coronavirus is here. Maybe if you was light-skinned, you maybe could work with two. But you lied. I don't know what's going on. So y'all need to chill out with this. Y'all gotta stop Snapchat. Y'all have got... Hey, the coronavirus is bringing out everybody's true colors. Just listen to me. No cap. I caught my mom slipping up. She almost forgot I was her son. She was over here trying to help me with my work. By far the worst tutor I've ever had. She's over here. Read the paper. It's two plus two. You can't see it. I can see it. I'm looking at it. I can, I'm looking at you. Look at it. You can't read that. Who's your mother? Who raised you? You're not stupid. You have to be stupid. I'm like, I puffed out of your coochie, didn't I? So I'm your, you're my mother, obviously. I don't know what you're talking about. So slow your road. Please have some slack. I hadn't been to school in about what? Two months now? Yeah, I'm going crazy. Okay, the corona. Ladies, if you want to find out if you got an abusive boyfriend, just wait till nighttime and take the cover off of him. See how he reacts. If he goes out and lays on the couch, you got a, you got a loyal man. You got a loyal man. But if you take the cover off me, damn I'm covered. It's the fourth time you done took the cover. What you need to, what you need to cover for? I'm just as cold as you. It's 30 degrees outside. We ain't got no heat. You just over here hogging the cover like this. All you doing, you just been pulling more cover. What? Like, stop. Go to sleep. You not sleep yet? Cause if you were sleep, you wouldn't keep doing this right here. You keep pulling the cover. That's my that's my girl pulling the cover over dance right there. You keep pulling the cover. Golly, relax. Have some slack. I'm just as cold as you. Every God made everybody the same. You don't have more to offer. Damn. Um, give me this. That's exactly what you're gonna get out of me, ladies. I don't play that taking the cover. I don't play ladies. If you will not believe this. So I went to my sister's homegirl's baby shower. You know what I'm saying? She's pregnant. She's about to have a baby. Tell me why when I go there, pregnant women is twerking. I'm like, hold up. What is going on? Regina, sit down. You're going to kill the baby. This ain't your birthday party. It looked like I was at a strip club. They had vodka. You're not supposed to be drinking. You pregnant. What are you doing? Rashad, get your girlfriend. Why are you doing push-ups? Get up off the floor, Rashad. Put your tie back on. What is you doing? Get out the cake. Oh, my God. It's not even time to eat. Oh, I couldn't do it. I literally left for 10 minutes. I come back and everything fell apart. I was just like, hold up. Come on, y'all. Hey, have some cooperation, please. We're supposed to be opening gifts, reading the letters, not drinking vodka, twerking, and doing push-ups with your shirt off. You will not believe this. So I went to my... Okay, if your mom has ever said these three phrases right here... You better shut up if I give you something to cry about. Do you have McDonald's money? Last but not least, you better watch your tone because I'm not one of your little friends. I'm about to explain all of them right now. Listen to me, woman. First of all, you obviously gave me something to cry about the first time. So whatever you do next, it's just going to make me want to die. I'm just going to start crying more. Like, you're not going to be helping the situation at all. Second, huh? That don't even make sense. Do I have McDonald's money? I asked you for food. Food costs the money. Obviously, I don't have the money to buy the food. That's why I asked you to get me the food. Third, if you ever tell me to watch my tone because you're not one of my little friends, you obviously said something stupid that one of my friends would say. That's the way I reacted. Like, you have to say some pretty retardedly dumb stuff in order for me to react the way I reacted. That's all you're going to get. Simple. Okay, if you're, hey, I never thought I would get this bored, but I did. I was listening to some Megan Thee Stallion music because I already done listened to my mama's gospel playlist three times. 
I ain't got nothing else. And while I was listening, I'm like, Megan, like, you is nasty. She, whoa, slow your roll. Like, I would honestly be scared if I was in that situation. Because, like, any girl that acts like Megan Thee Stallion, I feel like they voice change during sex. You know what I'm saying? So you could just be in the bed and then out of nowhere, oh, yeah, you like that. The fuck was that? What the fuck was that? No, you're not just going to speak. You're not going to act like you didn't just have a moment. Get out. Out. Now, the door is over there. You walk in. You can walk out. Goodbye. Okay, I never thought I would get this bored, but I did. Message to every mom out there. If you think your son or daughter has never called you a bitch, I don't know what you're smoking, but you're crazy. You literally piss us off way too much. You make us mad every day. It's just in your daily routine just to make us mad, I feel like now. Like, I wish you would go out in public and be like, oh yeah, my son loved me. He would never call me anything like that. I'm just gonna look at you like this. Come on, continue. I wanna hear what you're gonna say next. Keep going. Yeah, he loved me. Like, I'm a, I'm a cool mom, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm easy to get along with. What? No, you had never been cool. You and cool will never be in the same sentence. Where, where are you getting this information from? I never told you that. Who said you was cool? We, we the only people in the house, and I have never said you was cool. Cool and your name will never go in the same sentence, ever. So just stop right there. Message to every mom. When the coronavirus is over, ain't nobody going to nobody's house. That's not the first thing we finna do. I understand, ladies, you want the pipe. Fellas, I understand you want the cooch. But no, let me help you plan your steps accordingly. The first thing you finna do, fellas, take your butt to Walmart, get some new batteries, rev up the trimmer, because you got to vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah, you know the drill. Then you're going to go to the barbershop, because I know you, I know, I know, I know, I just know you need a cut. Ladies, y'all got a lot to do. Y'all got a lot to do. You got to go to the Brazilian wax place, hair salon, nail salon, foot salon, everything salon, book it. Now, now, ain't nobody going to your house before that step is done. We're not doing that. Because if you go there, you're going to go out. You're going to go down in between the legs, come out, full grown beard, mustache, everything. You're going to have hair in your teeth. What, what is this? You're going to be doing that right there. You don't when the corona. Hispanic girls are the best fighters on the planet. You got two outcomes of that fight. Hospital or death. Let me go ahead and give you my explanation. You know what I'm saying? Hispanic girls are smart. If they see you coming close, they'll be like, hey, hey, hey. Bow, flip flop right to the throat. You choking to death. You on the floor. They going to jail for first degree murder with the firearm of a flip flop. You know how thug you got to be to be in jail with a firearm and they have it written next to your name. Firearm of a flip flop. I'll be scared in the mug in jail with her. You can take my butt. Take my butt. I'm sacrificing my butt. Take my tray. Take it all. She can have everything I own. Lately, you up here in heaven because you done died to a flip flop. Now, Jesus got to call you over to review the fight. Hey, come over here. Let's see what you could have done differently to get yourself out of this situation. Okay, here was your first mistake. You got your black butt out the car. What was you thinking? I gave man a brain for a reason, and you didn't use it. You didn't. Hispanic girls are the best. Y'all women be carrying around in these purses, man. Like, and I swear to God, they be disguisable too. She could be walking around with the purse. I swear to God, it looked about the light. It looked like the lightest thing on the planet. Soon as she gets me, like I'm talking, as soon as it leaves her hand. It drops right to the floor. Like, what is this? Come on now. Come on now. And then when you open it up, it be the normal stuff. Like, you got a comb, some flip-flops, your wallet right there. What is this? And when you close it back up, it drop right back to the floor. Come on now. And then she be over there talking, what, do you want me to hold it? Yes, I want you to hold it. Like, how is you not swole yet? You carry this thing around every day. I'm expecting you to be like, D. Like, I don't know if I want to be with you no more. If you keep carrying this thing around, you're going to be swole within six months. I don't want to be in the bed with a girl who can bitch press me. No, that's not that's not how we about to go. You ain't about to be man, one and two and three. You ain't about to be doing me like that, girl. It's over. Bro, if I'm talking to you and I say, bro, my mom crazy, I can't do that. And you say, she can't be that crazy. Shut up. You don't know what I know. This is how I knew my mom was crazy. When I was like seven, she asked me to go outside and get a switch. I brought back the tiniest switch of all time like an idiot. She went outside, got a branch, and came back in and said, oh, you want to play with me? The branch was about this thick. She was like, oh, you want to play with me and get these little bitty switches? I'm going to show you. I... <laughs> no, 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 
be like this. I'll go get another one. I'll go get another one. She made me go out there butt naked and get another switch. Butt naked when I was seven. And get another switch. Yes. You heard me. Bro, if I'm talking to you and I say, bro, mama, when white kids get in arguments with their parents, it is completely different from when black kids get in arguments. Y'all can actually talk. We have to mouth what we want to say. Like, for example, you could be like, you could just be talking to your mom. I'm not going to say arguing because I don't argue with my mom. Like, she could just be like, I'm tired of you. You don't do nothing. You don't do the dishes. You don't do nothing. Now, me, I have to wait till she turns around and is not looking at me and hope she doesn't have eyes in the back of her head because I'm about to go off. As soon as she turn around, I got to just immediately change the stuff. I was just looking outside in the back, y'all. You see these trees? Yeah, you see this? It's like straight and uneven. So that means if the wind blows, it may fall on the house. Soon as she turned back around, well, no. I want to tell everybody something. That Pedia shirt, whatever it's called, is a scam. You will not grow in six weeks for drinking it. It is a scam. That little boy in the commercial did not grow two inches overnight. They pulled his legs up under the cover. That's what they did. They scamming all of y'all. You know how much money I wasted on Petish, and it's terrible. The milk is so nasty, but I forced myself to drink it, and look what happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I'm the same height. I didn't grow. I didn't grow overnight two inches. My legs didn't come up under the covers. I want to tell everybody something. That Petish shirt, whatever it's called, is a scam. This is for all the late texters. If I text you... And I text you a question and you answer three weeks later. I don't care anymore. I don't. I don't. Like, and it be the serious stuff too. Like, hey, yo, my mom bleeding out in the tub. I need you to come pick me up, take me to the hospital. Three weeks later. No problem. I'm on my way. What? Nigga. She done died already. What you talking about? I asked you. We done had the funeral. We done had everything. You yeah, ain't no more food left. Because I know you would have just came to the funeral for the food. Yeah, ain't that something up? Look at you. I should sue you the cause of my mama death. If I ever have a daughter, I'm going to be the world's strictest dad. I swear to God. Rule number one, she is not downloading this app. This app will not be on her phone. Rule number two, one brush. You got one brush, and that is to brush your hair. Nothing else. Nothing else. Three ice cubes in your drink. That's it. No more than three ice cubes. You don't need a cold drink. You better get your butt upstairs. That room temperature, that's good enough. Third rule, your door will always be open. If I see it closed one time, I'm undrilling it out the wall and I'm putting it in my basement. You're not getting that door back. I told you, leave this door open. And if I'm generous enough to let you bring a dude home, just because the coronavirus is here right now, don't mean it won't be here 15 years later. So separate four to six feet now. Like, I'm sorry, but I might have gray hairs before I'm 30 if I have a daughter. If I ever have a daughter, I'm going to be the world's strictest dad. I swear to God. Rule number one, she is not downloading this app. This app will not be on her phone. Rule number two, one brush. You got one brush, and that is to brush your hair. Nothing else. Nothing else. Three ice cubes in your drink. That's it. No more than three ice cubes. You don't need a cold drink. You better get your butt upstairs. That room temperature. Donald Trump, can you please tell these doctors to speed it up with the vaccine, man? Because now I'm starting to forget the little stuff. No joke. I hadn't put lotion on my feet in two months. I didn't notice because I was downstairs in the kitchen snacking on some chips. My ankle started itching. I tried to scratch it with my other foot. Out of nowhere, I hear this sound right here. I was like, hold up. We ain't got no construction work going on outside. What's all that noise? I do it again. I look down and I am standing in a pile of ashes. This was the first time I've ever fainted frontward and backwards. I was like, oh, gosh. I passed out. I immediately ran upstairs, emptied out a bottle of lotion and soaked my foot in it. Because I didn't know what was going on. It looked like I had been crip walking in gravel and baby powder for two days straight with no shoes on. Because at this point, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Donald Trump. Denise, let's play a game together. No. Hell no. Because every time I play with you, you snitch, and then I get in trouble. I'm good. Come on. Please. I won't tell this time. I promise. I don't believe you. Please. You don't got nothing better to 
do anyways. We don't quarantine. All right, you do got a point. Let's play. Hey, let's go then. It's getting hot in here. Drop it like it's hot. Spin the bottle. Mm, I don't want to play no more. You do this every single time. No, you was cheating. I'm not cheating. Yes, you is because uh, how come you be getting the right so quick? You a cheater. You admit you cheated. Admit it right now or I'm telling my mom. No, I'm not admitting that I cheated. You just suck at the game, little dang. <gasps> Seriously, on TikTok. You made you cheating. You just suck at the game, little day. <laughs> Why is my baby out here crying? <laughs> I was, I was playing this game with Shanice, and she had cheated. Uh -huh. I did not cheat. Yes, you did cheat. Lil day, she probably didn't cheat. She probably just knows how to play the game because she is older. Here, give me the cards. Let's give me the cards. Let me see. Mm, do this one then. I caught it from me, huh, uh, I caught it from me, hum, uh, I caught, I, now I know you See? cheated. I told I you she had cheated. cheated. No, because I don't even know what this said. I, what? I got it from my mama. That, that don't make no sense. So I don't even know how you got in that fast. And I know, I know you cheated. Because if I can't get it, then I know you can't. And since you want to do what that, I'm going to tell you behind up. Previously, previously on TikTok. Why is my baby out here crying? If I can't get it, then I know you can. And since you want to do what that, I'm going to tear your behind up. I'm going to tear your behind up. <laughs> Maybe I did cheat. I knew you had cheating. But how? Well, it was actually quite simple. I woke up at approximately 5.30 a.m., brushed my teeth, had a nice glass of cold water, when I was walking past Lil Dink's door and I noticed something, I saw the card game sitting on the desk. I knew it meant we were gonna play. I spent hours studying every card, making sure I knew everything for this moment. But why? Why would you cheat against me? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I wanted to win. And you didn't even have a clue. <laughs> I actually knew the whole time. What? Previously on TikTok. Why? can't get it, then I know you can. And since you want to do that, I'm going to tell you behind it. I'm going to tell you previously on TikTok. Why? Why would you cheat against me? I actually knew the whole time. I actually knew the whole time. You're lying. How did you know? <laughs> well, let me explain. I woke up around noon, walked upstairs to check and make sure y'all rooms were clean. When I bust my junk, and when I looked down, it was the car. Now, I knew Lil Dank couldn't have left the card there because the game was sealed when she took it to her room, which could have only meant one thing. You went in there and you cheated. I knew it. I knew you would cheat. So I waited. Waited for y'all to play. Waited for Lil Dank to snitch. But if you knew the whole time, why didn't you say anything? Because I wanted to see if you would tell the truth. What happens now? Are you going to whoop me? Whoop me? Child, that's up to you. To tear your behind up. Previously on TikTok. Whoop you? Child, that's up to you. Bad me. If I win, I get to tear your behind up. All right, I want a nice clean battle. None of that cheating stuff that y'all be doing. Mama, if you win, you get to tear my sister behind up. And I want you to tell her behind up because she was cheating. Shanice, if you win, then you don't get whoopings no more. And I really hope that you lose because you should never have cheated against me. Anyways, all your marks get set. on TikTok. I want a nice clean battle. Time! That is it! Both of you count your cards. <laughs> What's so funny, Shanice? I'm laughing because I won. 16! That's how many I got. 
And I know for a fact you didn't get that many. No, you can't have that many. <laughs> it's impossible. Oh, she couldn't have won today. Man. Go ahead. Ooh. Tell us how many you got. I got 17. There's no way you got 17. All the cards are right here. Count for yourself. And you know no, it's can't be 17. This I can't be. Ten. anywhere in life. Hello, oh, I'm saying. Got the cheese. Oh. <laughs> Little did she know, she got it from her mama. Previously on TikTok. Okay, I know everybody's mom has done this. After they get through hitting you, beating you, slapping you, whatever, and you get all mad and you storm off to your room like this. <sighs> Bruh. They always got the nerve to say, you got something to say? Because obviously I just mumbled every single cuss word up under my breath. So you think I'm just going to stop in the middle of storming to my room, do a full 180 and tell you everything I just said that came out my mouth to get another ass whooping? Are you crazy? Like, just can, can you think before you speak, please? Like, y'all y'all tell me this all the time. I need you to do the same thing. You got to think before you speak, because if you think I'm... Okay, I know... Okay, I know everybody's mom has done this. After they get through hitting you, beating you, slapping you, whatever, and you get all mad. Up here, lights on like y'all pay my bills up here. Door open like y'all pay some open door bills up here. Shut the hey, fuck up. Hey, yo, what the fuck? 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 Hey, Robert's daughter had an imaginary friend named Kelly. His daughter said that Kelly would sit in the rocking chair while she slept and she would play with her hair. One day, Robert and his wife were watching the new Amityville Horror. There's a particular scene with a girl with black eyes comes on the TV. In that moment, their daughter walked out of the room, saw the scene, and said, that looks like Kelly. When they asked her Kelly who, she just said, the dead girl that lives in my closet. This next story is even more creepy. This four-year-old girl, let's call her Stacy. Stacy had an imaginary friend, and she would blame things that she did on her friend. But she also bragged about how much she loved to watch Scooby-Doo. One day, the little girl's aunt decided to just ask her some questions about her
so I got the Jello, but this time we going a little bit big. So that means we need a lot of packs, like a lot of packs. Okay. After I figured out the weird measurements, I pulled in my powder a couple times. Yeah, well, a lot, a lot of powder. It, it was a lot of powder. Just put it like that. This took way longer than it looks. Just know I did this for y'all. So yeah, this is how the powder looked afterwards. Tried to show me pouring the water in, but it didn't really work. This is how it looks all mixed up, ready to go. So I went to Christmas Club. What did you just do? I just turned my soap operas on. You just turned your soap operas on. Just turned your. I just turned. So you turned my stuff off to watch soap operas? You just stopped what I was watching to watch some soap operas. You ain't even paying this bill. I'm stealing it from the neighbors because you ain't paying our bill in like eight months. I've been without cable and wall pop. Pirate it. Born on this party. And you gonna come down here and turn. Exhibit is a giant spider. 
But apparently this one specific kind of spider would never leave its web, so they didn't even have to have glass on the cage. But guess what? When I looked in that exhibit, there was no giant spider. I even stuck my head in the cage to get a good look, and I couldn't find it. So when a zookeeper walked past, I was like, hey, zookeeper, where's the giant spider? And she looked around the exhibit and couldn't find it herself, and all she had to say was, huh, that's weird. Excuse me, what do you mean that's weird? There's a giant spider on the loose. Call 911. One time. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Where's my mommy? Kid, this is the last time I'm explaining it to you. I kidnapped you, which means no more mommy. Oh, but I have karate practice at four, and my mommy's not going to be happy if I'm away because I do big sweeps after class. <sighs> She's not going to care how much you slept because you're not with her, okay? We're not going to karate. Oh, I see what's happening. You don't want me to go to karate so I don't come back and kick your ass. You're literally half my size. It's not what your mommy said to me last night. Oh, excuse Somebody come get her, she dancing like a stripper. Hey, somebody come get her, she dancing like a stripper. Hey, snake prank! <laughs> she live a life. Trying to come in. Whoa!